so in the previous slide we have discussed uh, how a call letter will be written uh, to just have a recap once the applications are received from prospect employees all the CVs will be scanned by the company or by the prospect employer and only the eligible candidates are sent and they will that call letter will be sent through email or sometimes maybe a text message may come to the prospect candidate so uh, he can uh, he or she can appear for the interview then mention the post position for which it will be mentioned in the call letter date time and venue of the interview so all those things will be mentioned and you only will be given uh, information regarding whether what you should uh, bring during the course of the interview then uh, you should uh, uh, it will also mention whether you will be paid any TADA something like that then once the candidate got selected an appointment order or what we call it as an offer letter will be written by the company to the prospective employee so successful candidates get offer letter for on the appointment uh, or the appointment order from the company the what it should contain here so the appointment order or the appointment letter what we call it as or the offer letter you should contain first it's it, uh, there will be congratulations for the selection of the candidate because why a company is, uh, is uh, has to congratulate the candidate because there may be lakhs together of the candidates might have appeared for the interview among those uh, huge number of candidates you may be one among them so that's why uh, when you go for uh, assume that when you are in the position of the HR manager when you go for writing an appointment order you should uh, include uh, as the congratulations as the first then you must refer back to the application so when the candidate has applied sometimes what happens here the, uh, uh, the employment takes 3-4 uh, months or sometimes it may take months together and the appointment order should state the uh, mention the pay packages so what will be your what we call it as a C2C cost to the company or what uh, what is your annual package so all those things that must be clearly mentioned and even uh, your leaves, how many leaves you can avail, like sick leaves or maybe like casual leaves, right? Then what type of the fringe benefits you are, going, you are going to get? Say for example, whether do you have a cab facility, if it is there, how much you are supposed to pay? And say for example, if you have any quarters facility, that the, those all those things must be mentioned. Then you should also specify the date within which the candidate should uh, is supposed to join the duties. And uh, you should also mention to whom you should report, right? So, uh, and you should also, the, uh, the appointment letter should also express a hope that the appointee will have a pleasant association with the firm because there will be long standing relationship between the employee and employer now onwards. So that's why the employer should assure that the employee will find, will find a pleasant stay because uh, remember uh, the ambience for the work is most important. So when you're happy with the ambience here, then uh, you will have the, a lot of things to work for the company, right? So how it looks after, say for example, you may be knowing that today majority of the companies, they are running the schools and colleges for the children of the employee. So that will ease the burden of the employee to look after uh, the headache of the education of his wards. So that's why here, so what type of the facilities that are provided is also that are to be very much clearly mentioned. then how you should face an interview what is interview of course it's simple here in a very simple to, to say interview is nothing but interaction between two persons so an interview is nothing but a formal meeting and of course it's a two-way communication remember this is two-way communication that means where both the people should uh, uh, talk together talk to each other so an interview is a purposeful exchange of ideas the interviewer may have a lot of questions right for which he expects answers from the interviewee right so an interview is a purposeful exchange of ideas the answering the questions and the communication between the two or more persons so this is how it is defined by scott william scott an expert on communication and another one uh, definition is given by brigand an interview is a conversation with a purpose. Remember here always an interview is, is having some definite purpose and the purpose may be to get the information or to make a friend. Some, why it is because sometimes uh, the candidate may not get a job in that company but 
he can develop friendship with that particular uh, interviewer if they are like minded each other so that's why here he says an interview is a conversation with a purpose and uh, uh, the purpose which may have to get information or to make a friend here so there are several types of interviews are there. so this can be these types can be listed as a structured interview or a pre interview depth interview or action interview group interview board or panel interview appraisal interview walk in interview stress interview tell interviews so now let us discuss in the subsequent slides what are these things here structured interview this is a quantitative research method commonly used in the survey research that means here the interview is going to list down uh, varieties of questions to be asked to the interviewee uh, normally say for example when you go for collecting the data for your research purpose so you will have list of questions so the, uh, there will be uh, questions are prepared well in advance uh, which are to be asked to the correspondents or i mean to say interviewee so the questions test testing the knowledge of the candidate uh, creativity handling of the situation then there are some sample questions may be like uh, they may ask a very common question like uh, tell me about yourself so when you are asked to tell about yourself don't tell i am so and so because already that is uh, written on your uh, cv so who is mr manjunath or maybe like who is mr uh, uh, satish or who is mr uh, uh, ravi like this right so when the question is asked about tell me about yourself don't tell about your family something like that you should tell what type of person you are or what type of the attributes do you possess that you need to highlight and uh, the another question may be asked here tell me about an obstacle uh, you were able to, uh, you were able to overcome uh, what happens sometimes say for example uh, you might have come across a particular problem and which my, uh, you might have overcome so that's why you may be uh, sitting in front of the interviewers so uh, how you if you have a difficulty during the course of your learning or during the course of your uh, family life etc that you need to tell then tell me about your worst boss or a coworker so when you are telling this here you must be very clear. normally this question is asked to people who have, have already got an experience say for example you may be working with a previous employer and now the question we asked what made you why you want to quit that particular job then you say uh, you uh, if the candidate says if he or she needs more salary then in such case uh, this interviewer may also tell we are not going to uh, we are not going to ha uh, pay more than what you are getting already now then why you have come so that may lead to some stress on the mind of the interviewee so that's why here when you are telling about your worst boss or the coworker you must be very careful and always you should speak uh, Uh, the better thing about your uh, uh, co-worker here then uh, what separates uh, you from other candidates normally this is uh, asked to make a distinctiveness of the candidate from other uh, or from from his competitors i mean to say you need to tell how you are different from your competitors then uh, what are expectations from this new opportunity so they may ask you like uh, how much salary do you expect you may say uh, something what you say for example as uh, how much you pay i will already so you, you must be very much clear right say you whether you expect 5000 50000 15000 so you must be in a position to justify what you are telling then uh, what brings here to uh, you here today say for example uh, there may be several employers may be there then what made you to choose this employer so that's why here you need to uh, tell what brings you here today in case of the unstructured interview it is a non direct interview in which questions are not pre arranged i mean to say here the questions are not listed down they may come spontaneously right so such questions may be subject to alteration or adaptation in response to interviewee's intelligence knowledge or belief system so looking into the say for example the persons in uh, interview here uh, how you are doing based on that they are going to ask the questions 
so the casual or unrehearsed and depends on the flow of the conversation so they may come spontaneously so there should be a spot analysis of the candidates here okay uh, we'll uh, conclude this session now in the next section in the next in the next session we'll discuss uh, the other types of interviews